Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. In today's episode, I will walk you through seven important HTML tags which are extremely important from the SEO perspective. SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. Whenever we are creating applications, especially the ones which are consumer internet, which means that they will be given to user who will be using it or have some public content which can be accessed without logging in or the user can access the content on your website directly. So these are seven important HTML tags that you should consider while writing your code while developing your applications. Let's learn all about them. The first and the foremost is the importance of the title tags. Title tags usually are used by search engines to determine the subject of a particular page. Search engines use this title tag information for displaying it in the SERPs. Now this is nothing but whenever you search for any website, you would see a small snippet, right? It has your title, a URL. So each page should have a meaningful title, should have the meaningful context, which will then derive so that your website or the application gets listed in the search engines. So make sure that any web page that you develop should have a meaningful title tag. The next one is, are the meta tags. Meta tags are the short, short description that are provided in the HTML head section. Now these metadata that we talk about can have description, author name, content. So these are something that provides more information to search engines about the website's content. These are also usually displayed as a small text when you search for any website in Google or Yahoo or Bing. The value of metadata is extremely information because the user would read that to click. So make sure that you got solid metadata optimized and the content is optimized so that it's making meaning. It has the context of the data and the subject of your web app, website or the web page. The next ones are the head, header tags. Now, ever since the semantic web has come up, H, the heading, heading tags have become extremely crucial to define the information structure in your page. Heading tags are used to structure your pages for both the reader as well as the search engines. For the perspective of the search engine, having head, heading tags form the core of the content and helps understand what the page is about, what is the information flow of the page. You can have the proper H1 tags, which is the main heading. Then you can have the smaller ones, which is H2, H3, H4, depending upon the subsections in the web page content. So when you're developing, keep in mind that the structure, information structure of your content is extremely critical and having the right header tags will only help you and benefit you in terms of search engines understanding your page. All right, so the next one is alt attribute. Now, a lot of times we have the images. So most of the times people just add the search SRC tag, which is the source, but they do not provide the alt tag. Alt is giving a context to about the image to search engines. It also helps two ways. If the image is missing, alt text would be displayed. But for search engines, they will understand the context about what the image is about. For example, if you are showing something like say, image of a sun, so you can put alter equal to sunrise, etc. Right? So this gives a context. It gives a meaning to the image and that helps in indexing for the image indexing. So extremely important, make sure that whenever you add any image tag, you are providing an alt attribute to those images. Then comes the open graph tags. Now these are very similar. They will look very similar to the meta tags because they are inside the meta tags, but they are an attribute which says content open graph title tags. Open graph tags are additional meta tags in HTML head section of a page that allows any web page to become a rich object in social networks. Whenever we provide meta tags like organization title, property, 
content type. So they give more detail about the social network that gets scaled and indexed. So make sure that whenever you have a web page, you also provide the proper open graph tags in that header section. Then comes the canonical tags. Now canonical tags tells the search engines which page out of a few similar ones are more important. So this shows them such pages are not having duplicate content, right? So imagine this, if you have multiple contents pages and you want to provide which ones are similar, so you can start giving them relative equal to canonical. Very useful in identifying which web pages are having duplicate content, which are not having. So make sure that you start using this in your application and putting that to the links. Then comes the robot tags. Now these are extremely important because they will tell the search engine whether to index, whether to follow along, etc. Yet again, these are also meta tags, but their attributes are different. The name would be robots. A robots tag is an element in HTML of a page that informs search engines which pages on your site should be indexed and which should not be. If you have some pages which you do not want, you can say un not follow, right? Or if you want certain things to follow, you will write index follow or you will say no follow. Its functions are similar to robots.txt. Usually on a, on a web server, we will upload a file which is robots.txt, which gives the indexing details, the sitemap and which pages to follow along or to be indexed. These meta tags by the name robot also provides the similar information. Now let's do a final quick recap of all the seven important HTML tags that we just saw in this episode. Provide the title tags, provide the meta tags, provide the header tags, or add alt attributes to the images, add the open graph tags, add the canonical attribute to your links, also include the meta information about the robots tag. I hope this is helpful to you and you will keep that in mind when developing your search engine friendly pages. Do let me know your thoughts. Do let me know if you have any additional information. Please do share it with us. Thank you so much for joining and see you in the next episode. Please do subscribe for more such informational videos. Thank you again.